It's another Train Like a Champion, everybody. I'm Nick Kismondi. We are cold, but in Providence, Rhode Island, with Saucony distance runner Molly Huddle. And there's snow on the ground, but you've got a big event in about a week's time, so you got to get the miles in, and I guess we're going for a run. Yeah, yep. I have a six mile tempo run today. Um, that's a little lighter than my usual load, but pre race, that's normal for me. Yeah. And it's not ideal workout conditions right now, but um, usually I escape somewhere warmer for the winter. But this is kind of similar to what I'll be dealing with, and uh, you just have to get the work in sometimes. So we found a nice, kind of dry place to work out, and we're just going to go for it. Six mile tempo run. Now tell me what that pace means for you. I know what it means for me, but you're definitely faster. <laughs> Yeah, so today it'll be around 33 minutes for six miles, so 525 to 530 per mile. Um, adjusting for hills and terrain and weather, but that's the goal. You are the longest standing distance runner for Saucony. You've been with these guys for seven and a half years. What is it about the brand that keeps you in the family? Yeah, I've, I've been there since the beginning, and um, when I came out of college, so I was thrilled to run for Saucony and that they believed in me and um, every year I've gotten a little bit better and I feel like they've done some really innovative things from 07 to now with the shoes and the gear and it's been cool to be able to test it all out and even give my feedback like I feel like um, they use the elite athletes and what they're doing and so it's been a fun process and um, I always like to come into the offices and see what they're cooking up next. Nice well all right so we got a little bit of warm-up we're gonna do and then we're gonna go for this run and uh, I'm gonna try and keep up with you, but I'll let you lead and uh, you show me the way here on this warm up. Okay. Sweet, well we got a little warm up we're gonna do, we'll take care of that and then we'll get to the run. All right. Let's do it. The thing that I admire most about you is that this isn't the ideal running conditions, but you're out here doing it anyway, and I think that's the idea. And I think what helps that is, is the right gear. Oh, exactly. Um, you can't get too psyched out about weather and conditions because when you're in a race, this might come up as well. So it's a good mental toughness uh, workout, and as long as you're prepared, you have the right gear, you stay dry, you're gonna be fine. Well, you're gonna be fine. <laughs> I might not be so much, but you're not even hardly panting, which I love. But. Listen, uh, you guys can do this too. You can train like a champion. You just have to get out there and do it. Molly, thank you so much. You are a rock star. Good luck in your, uh, good luck in your big race coming up. Have fun. And uh, listen, guys, just don't sit on the couch. Get out there, have some fun, train like a champion. For Molly, I'm Nick. We'll see you next time. I need a water. <laughs>